We'll be going and seeing people here in the Logan Reserve mm -hmm. area. So these are people that have been affected by, by, by flooding, yep. riverine flooding essentially. We've, we've seen a range of families, uh, some people that have just lost power for, uh, for five days and have lost their fridge and, and all of their food. We've been able to support them. And then we've gone right through to the other side of the spectrum. We've seen you know, houses that have had complete flood inundation and have lost everything. The floods come, come through, um, creeks are over there, pretty much filled up from the rivers and um, overflowed into our property. Uh, look, really just listening to their stories, um, being able to give them some emergency financial support, uh, also letting them know about other services that are available to them. So everything that I've bought and had in possession is pretty much gone. I've only have whatever's left there. We do up around here, yep. two houses up. I guess I'm just drawing on my own experience, my own life experience of having gone through, you know, a really severe storm that was a national disaster. And it's a, I guess that's the thing that shifts it from being sympathy to empathy. So just being able to walk in their shoes. Well, our house was totally inundated with water. It went over our roof. Um, so everything that's been left in this room. Well, they're very helpful, they know what they're doing, they advise us because we, we don't know and they have told us you know, different things we're entitled to which we didn't, wouldn't have a clue about. So no, they've been very helpful. There was one home today where I was thinking, am I safe? There, there was that. There's also the, I guess, what, what are their needs? How are they feeling? What's their situation today? And how will I be able to help them? That's really, that's really what I'm thinking.